Hey, what's up? It's Nathan here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to open up a channel on the Lightning Network and then send yourself some sats so that way you can get some of that inbound liquidity. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Now, I assume you already have a, a Bitcoin node set up and you already have some Bitcoin on your Bitcoin node. If you don't have like main chain Bitcoin on your node, well, then you got to do that first. So get some Bitcoin on main chain Bitcoin on your node and then you can go ahead and open up channels. So I'm using Umbrel. There's a bunch of tutorials on how to set up Umbrel. I'll have links in the description down below. So, but more importantly, the app I'll be using here is Thunderhub. So if you have a different node, as long as you have Thunderhub, you can still follow along with this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my apps and I'm gonna go to Thunderhub here. And then what we wanna go ahead and do is open right here on the main home page. And we have a few channels we could choose from already. So if you wanna do one of these like advertised channels, you could go ahead and connect to them or you can go ahead and open one uh, manually. So is new peer, yes or no? So yes, this is gonna be a new peer. And then it asks us for what node we wanna go ahead and open a channel with. So I'm at 1ml.com and it has a big list of nodes that you could go ahead and open channels with. So you could do, you know, based off the of size of nodes in, or you could do it based off of different locations or whatever. There's dozens of reasons to s select certain nodes and that's not what this video is about, but you can do your own research on what makes a good, good node to open a channel with versus, you know, a bad node to open a channel with. But anyway, I'm going to be opening a node with Preston Pish. He has a podcast. It's called The Investor's Podcast. I listen to it all the time. It's a great podcast and I want to open a node or a, a channel with him. Now also, of course, you could go ahead and if you wanna open a channel with me, here's my information right here and a link in the description. So if you wanna open a channel with me, that'd be awesome. I'd appreciate it and you know we can work together and all that type of stuff. But anyway, what we wanna go ahead and do is grab this address right here in this text field. So we'll grab that, come over to Thunderhub and we wanna plug it into this field right here. And then we go ahead and set our channel size. So this channel size field is pretty important because whatever you set it at is what it's going to be set at for eternity until you close the channel. That you can't increase the size or decrease the size. This is going to be the size of the channel. So you want to make sure that it is large enough to send the, the amount of Bitcoin through, through the channel that you're going to want to send. Or if you're routing payments, you probably want a bit of a larger channel size in order to adequately route payments and all that type of stuff. So, you know, you have to pick a channel size that, you know, fits what you're trying to accomplish. Now I'm gonna open a, a large channel with Preston here. I'm gonna do a 5 million sat channel. So five, one, two, three. Oh, it gives me the commas in there. So a 5 million sat channel is what I'm gonna be opening here. And then we can go ahead and select our fee. I'm just gonna go with auto and see what it presents. So it's just one sat per V byte. Uh, so, you know, you can't get cheaper than that. So that's that's awesome right there. And then I can go to the advanced settings here. So I could go ahead and set up a private channel where it's not going to be seen anywhere. Like if you come to the 1ML website and you scroll down here, you can see all the channels that are connected to Preston Pish's node here. So we can see that all the channels, the size of the channels, all that type of stuff. So if you don't wanna be sharing that type of information, like you're opening a channel with a friend or something like that and you want it private, well then obviously you'd make it private. Also, you could go ahead and push tokens to partners. So if you wanna you know, give them some tokens along the way, like if I wanted to send you know, 50,000 sats to Preston while I open the channel, I could go ahead and do that as well at this point in time. I'm not going to uh, do that, but that's something you could do if you wanna send some sats as you open your channel. Then all we gotta do is click on open channel. And we see that the channel opened right here. So if we go to channels on the left hand navigation menu and we see a pending up here, we can see that I have a 4,998,403 sat channel opening up. I can come in here and I can go to the transaction ID and I can look at it at, at mempool.space so we can see I'm in this block right here and hopefully it'll be processed within about nine minutes and it'll only cost me like seven cents to go ahead and perform this transaction. So I had to wait for this to this block to confirm and it might take, I've seen it take longer than one confirmation. I've seen it take three confirmations. So I don't know if it's an arbitrary number or a time number or, or what the deal is. I think it could depend on channel or yeah, the size of the channel. So anyway, I'll come back in a little bit and we'll, 
wait, wait for a couple confirmations and then we can move on to the next step. Alrighty, so I didn't finish recording last night and now it's pretty early in the morning so I'm not going to do the whole camera thing but we can see that it's been 55 confirmations and if we come over here we can see that I now have a 5 million Satoshi channel with Preston Pish and I have lots of local balance and I need to get some remote balance so that way I could receive payments and start processing transactions uh, both ways through this channel. So in order to do this I'm going to send myself some Bitcoin to my mobile device. So I have another Lightning wallet. I'm using Moon wallet. So I could send some Bitcoin from my, my node through that channel to my Moon wallet. So it'll be me sending myself Bitcoin through the Lightning network. And that will help me generate the, in, the, the inbound liquidity so I can route payments both ways. So... To do that, we're going to go ahead and generate an invoice in Moon Wallet. So I'm going to go to receive here because I want to receive some funds. And then we see the option up top here for Bitcoin or Lightning. So you could do main chain Bitcoin or Lightning. So I'm going to do Lightning here. And then I'm going to go down here to invoice settings. So do invoice settings. And I'm going to go ahead and add an amount. And I want to do 0.025. So that is 250, no, 2.5 million Satoshis right there. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm the amount. And there's my invoice. I'm going to go ahead and copy it. So I copied it. And then I'm going to go ahead and email it to myself so I have it on my computer. So I'm going to send that email real quick. Alrighty, so the email has been sent. And I want to do one other thing real quick. I want to go into my channel and I want to update my details. And I want to set my base fee and fee rate to zero. Alright, so the emails arrived with the invoice details, so there it is. And now I want to go to home up here, and I want to go to send, and I have invoice, so I want to go ahead and copy that long invoice number, copy, and I'll go ahead and paste it as plain text. And then max fee, I would put a large max fee here to make sure that it goes through, so I'm going to do, uh, I'll do 20 20,000, uh -oh. why did it not let me, there you go, 20, 20,000 sats, now it'll only charge you what it costs, but just make sure that you go through the node you want to go through, you probably want to set the, the, the fee that you're willing to pay pretty high, and max pass, I'll do 10, so basically, like, you're like, I'll pay whatever, just push it through the channel that I want to push it through. So then we're going to go in here, and we're going to select the channel we want to go out of. So we have Preston Pish right there, and then we're going to hit Pay. And hopefully it goes through and does exactly what we want it to do. And there we go, we have a payment sent right here. And if we go to my Moon Wallet, and let's go back out, we see that I have 0.025 Bitcoin sitting there in my Moon Wallet. So now let's go see if my channel is more balanced now. And it doesn't look like it. It looks like it went out my CBA Bitcoin channel right here. Let's go to transactions. And we'll open this up real quick. Oh, and it went through CoinGate. And we see it went through CoinGate instead of Preston Pish. So that's kind of frustrating right there. But still, at the end of the day, we have some more inbound liquidity than we did previously. So that's a good thing. Now what we could do is go up here to rebalance. And we could change the... Ingoing, outgoing amounts with rebounce. So we'll go right here. And we have the outgoing, which is going to be Preston Pish. And then we have the incoming, which we're going to choose as CoinGate here. And I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure why it's not showing 2.5 million remote here. I don't know if some other transactions have taken place already. Um, but I'm not sure why it's not showing the full amount right there. But we'll move forward so you can understand the process. So select the fee to look out for. So we'll do max fee and max fee rate. I'm going to leave those as a default. How much we want to go ahead and rebalance. So I'm going to set a target here. And I'm going to do 500,000 sats to rebalance because I only have a, a million available essentially. And we could select nodes we want to avoid. I'm not going to worry about that. And set a max timeout time. And I'm not going to worry about that. So we're going to go ahead and rebalance. And I got an error message saying the fees were too high, so I need to go ahead and adjust my 
my fee settings here. So I'm going to do max fee 100 and max fee rate. I'll just go ahead and just set that to 200. And then I'm going to try it again. Rebalance. All right. And we got a balancing finish message right here. So that looks awesome. So we're going to come back over here to our channels. And now we see I have some inbound liquidity on my Preston Pish channel. We have 0.5 million sats allowed inbound here. And while we didn't get the amount of inbound liquidity that we we wanted to, we still achieved our goal by getting some inbound liquidity. Now this method works a lot better when you only have one channel and it has to go out that channel. But since I have a bunch of channels, the Lightning Network just found the cheapest route for me to pay that invoice on. So I'm not going to fault it for giving me the lowest fees. But, you know, I did want that inbound liquidity on this channel. And I did achieve it through rebalancing as well. Now, just to finish this up, we do have this 0.025 Bitcoin sitting here on our Moon Wallet. And we want to send it back on the main chain to our, our node. So that's what we're going to do right now. So let me go to my node. And I want to go to Bitcoin here and I want to go ahead and deposit and I get my my QR code and so I'm going to take my phone there's my phone I'm going to go ahead and hit on send and then I can go ahead scan a Bitcoin or lightning QR code so I'm going to go up here and I'm going to do use all funds and I'm just going to be return payment I've spelled payment incorrectly, but who cares? We're going to go ahead and confirm note. Network fee is about 25 cents right now, so really low. We're going to go ahead and send. And poof. So the funds will come back to my Bitcoin node and my Bitcoin wallet, and I can go ahead and use them another way. Oh, they already hit, so that was fast. And that pretty much covers it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes. Have a great rest of the day.